say peppers. Sippy sippy, before we get started, I'm back again, finally. I think it's been like two weeks. I originally wanted to do an episode of this every single week, but you guys know how I am. So we're back again. We're doing the 50 pounds of random mystery items. Don't even know 100% what is gonna be in this large, exciting, purpley box. I have some more items today. I don't know exactly how many that we're gonna get to. I have these brand new. Have y'all seen these yet? I just saw them on TikTok the other day. They are mystery cassette tapes. ASMR oddly satisfying cassette tapes. Very excited about that. So I have a couple of the ASMR mystery things, a couple of random, th we'll, we'll get to them when we get to them. But uh, the first thing that I wanna unbox today is not a proper mystery item, but it is enormous and it is miniature. Guys, I'm actually like filming this video right now because I am in desperate need of miniature toilets. I'm like filming a snap episode. You should check it out if you don't already. But I have a snap show that I upload on Mondays and Thursdays. I'm in the middle of doing a weird toilet craft. It will all make sense eventually. I desperately need a miniature toilet. So I've had this honestly sitting around in the closet of this filming room forever because I originally bought it for big avatar baby. I was trying to get all of these like my life things from Target. Um, I think that that's where my life comes from or is my life the one from Walmart? Both Target and Walmart have their own line of like American girl type dolls. I think they're 18 inch fashion dolls and then they make all their own little accessories. A long time ago when I first got avatar baby cause I think he is like 18 inches. Look at this tiny toilet, you guys. I do not think that he would be able to sit on that toilet. I think he's just like wider than American Girl dolls and also like he's just more... <laughs> I always forget that they have no bones, you know? So maybe this would be a good toilet size for this little avatar baby. Do you guys remember him? He's like one of my all time favorite reborn dolls ever, you guys. What is this video? This is just gonna be a stream of consciousness video. Uh, you know who else maybe could use this toilet? Teeny tiny little baby Shrek. You guys, he's currently um, safety pinned to this little chair. Let's slice it open. Try me. Try me. Oh my God. <gasps> Oh my God, you guys. Okay, I was just about to say something, um, which is silly. Uh, the whole time I thought all this blue stuff back here was part of the paper box, but this is like a whole shower diorama. You guys, we're just, we're discovering things as we're going along today. Scissors for cutting open my teeny tiny toilets. Will we need batteries? I don't know. I don't know if the test batteries are still gonna be good after I don't even know literally how many years this has been sitting in the closet. I don't remember when I first got Avatar Baby. I literally do not. I feel like I've done so much like different Reborn content and different like Reborn unboxings over the years that it has all become a blur. See, this is kind of like an unboxing. It's just not a, it's not a mystery unboxing. So why did I put it in this video? I don't know. I didn't know if like just opening a, a small toilet was gonna be interesting enough. Oh, I hear toilets falling. Toilets tumbling, tumbling down. Oh! I almost like broke my magic scissors. I would cry because I think that this company is sadly like fully out of business now and I do love my funky scissors. I don't know what I'm gonna do when and if these break. Is there like a service where you can have cheap scissors sharpened? Oh, look at that. You guys, we just have a whole vanity now. Look at yourself. You can maybe see yourself in this mirror. Okay, try me. What am I stepping on? Oh my God, I'm stepping on wet wads of toilet paper down here. You guys, this filming room, it's a mess. Okay, um, try me. What do we think is gonna happen? Are the light bulbs gonna glow? Is the sink gonna make a sink sound? <gasps> no, I don't know, okay. Oh, it 
is glowing! Oh my god! Okay, I don't know why I thought like lights and and sounds were gonna happen. Um, so you can open this. What could you put inside of it? All of Squidward's hopes and dreams, maybe? I wish that there was like a little way where you could like actually pump water through here, which can be done as we've seen with our teeny tiny realistic working bathtub, if you guys remember that TikTok. Oh my gosh, the shampoo bottles are tumbling. Look at the conditioner. Focus on the shampoo, please. What are you focusing on, shampoo? Toothpaste. That has like an interesting kind of texture to it. A toothbrush and a little tooth cup. You could put teeth inside of here. I'm just kidding. You should water, take a swig, swishy, swishy. You know, what they've given us here is a really cute um, shower and toilet combo. Need a little privacy? Don't you worry about a thing. You could take a shower. You could take a poop. Oh, yay. Okay, okay. It does look like you can remove the toilet. Okay, so I'm, I'm kind of being goofy. I thought it was like, I know that there are um some things like that where the toilet and the shower it's like a combo kind of thing now this is a separate shower that is the drain i guess the toilet was just in there for packaging guys this is just 15 minutes of me struggling with a small shower there you go a shower head <laughs> i mean once again uh this could be more magical if you could actually load water in it um however then it does have to have a little motor so it would probably be a good deal more expensive all right you guys the toilets the piece de resistance of the day lift the lid ta-da okay ta-da lift the seat ta-da you could maybe like make your own little slime poop and put it in there is it gonna flush i might try I guess I would have to like unscrew and disassemble the entire toilet. Maybe this will be an update. I mean, I feel like if I was using it for a video or something, like why would I not just put a toilet flush sound effect in there? Do we think Avatar Baby? He's got a tail, I didn't think about that. How do you poop? Does your tail get in the way? Look at that! He can sit and be fit, you guys. He's kind of the perfect size for that. He's almost sitting in the toilet. I'm not sure that's a good look, but it's still so funny for TikTok, you guys. I love making the little reborn videos on TikTok and I feel like everybody loves to watch them too. We have a toilet, you guys. I feel like I want to open the giant Care Bear box. Basic Fun, the company that made this, they actually sent this to me as PR and I love getting Care Bear PR, but I think that they have a brand new Care Bear Dream Bright Bear. Look at how adorable. So let's open it up. I almost feel like this is definitely a reusable cardboard box because it's so adorable, so sturdy. Okay. Oh, there are some other things in there, but mostly it is just a Care Bear. Can you guys imagine like a gigantic mystery box like that? Is there a mystery box that's this big? Besides like LOL surprise or something? Care Bear stickers. 40th? Care Bear's 40th anniversary. What is this? A magical Care Bear scroll. Ah, uh, what is this? Is it like a chart? 2022 dream board? That is so, that is so cute. The big magical item is the Care Bear Dream Bright Bear. Oh, oh my God. Look at all of the Care Bears on the back are these all the different care bears that there are now wait do they not have i know he was a care bear cousin <gasps> i just broke one of my nails i know he was a care bear cousin but i always loved was he called lion hearts or brave hearts probably not brave hearts wasn't there also like um what was another care bear cousin i feel like i'm also getting them confused with the wuzzles which wasn't that, I feel like that was like another creature in the late 80s. Maybe they were even Disney. You guys, what random things am I talking about in this video today? Look, oh my gosh, so, so 
soft. Get them out of the box down here. Ah, look at that. I'm probably like, am I ruining a collector's item? If I have it, I have to take it out of the package. I loved this when I was a kid and I don't know why, but every Care Bear I had, I always loved the little Care Bear heart on the back. But look at how cute so fluffy and honestly like kind of tie-dye like I love the fade of like blue to purple I swear this is like the softest Care Bear he has little Care Bear hair oh, I accidentally pulled some of the Care Bear hair out I'm sorry my friend sippy sippy break whoo Let's go ahead and open up another one of the Care Bear Care Moji figures. Are we gonna get Dream Bright Bear? This will be a good comparison now. We can look at this Care Bear figure, compare it to like the stickers and see if they did really go like the Care Bear emoji route. <gasps> Who did we get? Wait, why does this one look similar? Which one did we get last time, you guys? I'm trying to remember. This one is adorable. Like, I feel like I say every single time with the Care Bears mystery eggs, I just wished that they put a chart in there. Oh my gosh, wait, we can maybe find him on the back of this box. Yeah, look, there he is, Tender Heart Bear. I don't know, what do you guys think? How much of an emoji bear do the new Care Bear designs look like? I feel like I should save the back of this box for the Care Bear chart for future Care Bear unboxings. Um, adorable. Love him so much. All right, you guys, I feel like I cannot wait any longer. I am so excited for mystery cassette tapes. I feel like I have seen people saying that like cassettes are coming back. I feel like we had that whole period where it was like very posh to like buy albums. I feel like that's still going on where people are like buying records instead of just like MP3s or just listening on Spotify or something. Um, and I feel like I saw that like cassettes, there was like a cassette revival. Ooh, <gasps> I'm thinking that I got the one that I really want. I think that there's one that literally, you just basically wind it. Like, do you guys remember if you, if you ever had a cassette or a VHS and the tape got all funky and you had to like stick a pencil in the holes and like wind it back so you could like listen to it again? This looks like a yellow one. Um, that's the one, oh, yay! Oh my gosh, so lucky, you guys. This looks so, so cool. It really does look like a real cassette. Look at how cool all of these are. Maze, rewind, dial, illusion. What does that one say, gears? Oh my gosh, rare is a water motion, a button, and a gel. Oh my God. Okay, we have to try and find a rare one too. This has these little wheels in the middle that you can spin. The real magic. Can you guys see? I'm trying to even see. Oh my gosh. I think it's just like one. Oh, it does stop. That's magical. I thought it was just like one little piece of orange string that was kind of on an infinite loop, but that is so much more satisfying to me because you like wind it all one way and then it stops and then you wind it all the other way and it kind of takes a minute too and there is some resistance there because i think this orange thing is kind of like a rubber band you guys i did get more of these so let me know if you would like for me to make like another episode um, all about the tapes and some of the other like ASMR items as well. Cause I have a couple more of these. I just pulled out like one of each today so we could kind of like once again, just do like a variety show, which honestly I do really love these like variety unboxings. Cause I feel like we get a little bit of everything. I brought these as well, which are called Oddly Satisfying Sensory FX ASMR Sticks. Now these are called sticks, but when you look at the packaging, it looks like they're gonna be really cool pins that once again, I guess some of them you can twist, snap, pull, listen. Listen. Um, are you gonna tell me the secrets of the universe? So you open the bag and then they're all in a box as well. I'm sure that that's to like prevent people from just easily figuring out which one is gonna be inside. This honestly like has like a nice feel to it. It feels like it's kind of like weighted. Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, if you get it just right, 
time to see what it is. Oh my God, is it a pen? Oh my gosh, I think that it's not a real pen because I'm clicking it and it's making a clicking sound. Very satisfying, um, but the end is actually like rubberized. So I'm gonna try because I wonder if this could be a stylus, which I love having these on hand because I used to do this on Snap a lot where I would like write with a stylus like in the drawing mode and stuff. So this one is so pretty. It's called Swivel. Oh my gosh, yeah. The rare one is a glitter wand. So once again, they're called all of these different things bend. That one looks like a connects. Isn't that what those are called? Or a, uh, what are those things called? We literally just had one of those not that long ago, but you can like click it. Um, Oh, <laughs> you guys, this is like the woman was too stunned to speak. I guess that's why it's not a real pin. Although you could probably have a teeny tiny thin little um, pin, pin lead. That's not, that's not something real. They also have like a really nice feel to them, you know? So let me know if you would like for me to do a like variety show of all ASMR mystery things. And maybe I could even like plug in the ear microphone and maybe even like record some more of the ASMR sounds. Let's do a couple super quick ones. This is called Smushy Mushy Besties. I miss these. I don't know if they are being made anymore. So these are gonna be teeny tiny uh, mystery squishy keychains. I think I'm gonna have to just go like that. And what are you? Is this like, <laughs> it's a dollop of sour cream. So cute though, you guys. These honestly are adorable. And I've always remembered that these tiny ones are like super satisfying because they're so soft and slow rising. It's Winnie whipped cream. She's in the sweeties category. I assembled it. So, so cute. The little um keychain chain matches the little strawberry, or is that a cherry on top of the whipped cream? So cute so soft look i'll squish it i'll show you guys again y'all can get these like super flat too all right you guys two items left i have another tokidoki mystery pouch this was from the neon star collection we recently unboxed opened one of these and we got the latte one but who is gonna be in here oh what is this <gasps> It's like a mermaid unicorn. Oh my gosh, I just tore the packaging so much that I can't read it anymore. Oh my gosh, it's like the mystery, mystery one. Its name is Jelly. I was like, I didn't even see it on the pouch because it definitely has a mermaid tail. And I was like, I don't see a unicorn. That's also part mermaid. So yeah, I guess that's why this one is super sparkly and glittery as well. Very cute. A unicorn mermaid hybrid. Adorable. Um, also, you guys, we're gonna unbox this one because it is a mystery slime, a mystery putty, actually. But I thought, you know, maybe I'm gonna need some prop poop for the toilet. So for whatever reason, I thought, well, of course, avatars would like poop purple or glitter or something. So this is the Zuru Ush putty magic mix. So I guess we can get unicorn poop. One of them is even called poop. Uh, unicorn poop, magic mix, color change, liquid glass. Four different varieties. Which one are we gonna get in this egg? I don't know. Uh, but once again, this has been in the filming closet for a long time. So is it even gonna still be in putty form? Look at that. I almost feel like I could like reuse this as a prop of some kind. A magic egg. Okay, I have to hatch it. Ha what is this? It's blue and it's green. Would you know already? You guys, I can't remember if like, we could see the color of the egg already through the wrapping. Cause this is, does it always work out like this? You get a, a, a blue and green egg. You get a blue and green slime. It feels like silly putty. Um, so there's the green. That's like Shrek poop. I don't feel like it would be very magical of me to not mix it. So let's slap them together. Are they gonna mix together? I don't know. They kind of seem like 
um, a little bit repelled from each other at the moment. That does look kind of cool. Oh, I'm like, which color is kind of like taken over? I feel like it's like turning more blue. I went ahead and just mixed it a ton more and I hope y'all can see like how cool this looks because it's honestly a super beautiful color. Like it's almost like the blue and the green like mixed together perfectly and now it is like a kind of shimmery teal. But yeah, I love it and um, I, I still kind of feel like it's like an in-between shade of blue and green. So it's good for Shreks and avatars alike. So I'm gonna store it in the little egg there. You guys are gonna have to let me know what do y'all think about some of these awesome new mystery things we unboxed today. The tapes, the pins. I wanna know all of you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. That's it today. And I will see you guys again very, very soon. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye.